Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss how we can display the elements of the list view in the reverse order. Say for example you are trying to create an application to display the news. So as you understand that the latest news should always be displayed on the top. But when we are using a list view with an array adapter, typically the latest elements get added to the bottom of the array adapter. So how is it that you can reverse this uh, list quickly without much difficulty? So I'll just We'll walk you through that. So to explain this to you, I have created a very simple application. Um, it has one activity, and uh, if you look at the layout of the activity, it has nothing except for a list view. I have defined the list view here uh, for this activity, and then I have created another XML file called list underscore description, which is nothing but how each of the rows of the list view is going to look like. Again, if I can show it to you, it has nothing but just a text. We will display something there. And then in the main activity dot Java, what I have done is I have initialized an array list where I'm going to put some elements. So I have put the elements in the onCreate method. As you can see, I have put five elements there: first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then I have created a custom list one, which is nothing but the adapter. Custom adapter for the list view, and I have passed this array list as a as an element or as an input to this custom list adapter. Now in the custom list one, which is the adapter for the list view, and it extends the base adapter. I have created the constructor method here, which is going to map the input variables in the method to the local variables, which is array list and context. And then in get count, I have returned the array list dot size, and in the get item, I have returned array list dot get with an argument zero, which is the position of that particular element. And then in the get view, it's very simple. Uh, I have checked if the convert view is null. If it is null, then I am inflating the uh, the layout, the list underscore description. Otherwise, I am just using a tag to recover uh, the particular convert view which has already been created, and then. I am just setting the name variable, which is nothing but the text view in the list underscore dex, uh, to the get item position. So basically, it will get one item at a time, and it will basically populate that here. So now, if I run this application, we will see that this is how it looks like. Now, as you can see, the elements have been displayed from the top to the bottom, which is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. This is exactly the way that I had added in the array list. But I would like this to be fifth, fourth, third, second, first. So we will do just a very quick tweak, which will make it work like that. So now here in the get item method, if the argument is zero, which is the position, so I am getting the zeroth element in the array list. So instead of getting the zeroth element, what we need to do is we need to get the get count. Minus the zeroth element. So in this particular case, your get count will return five because there are five elements. So here we should be getting five minus argument, which is nothing but zero in the first case. So we will get the fifth element. Now this is where there is a slight challenge. Although the number of elements are five, the positions are zero to four. So because of this, we need to do a minus one here. And that should do the trick. So now, if we run this program, we will see that now the elements have been displayed in the reverse order. It's a very quick trick, but it does the job. Thank you for watching. And if you found this session interesting, please do subscribe to this channel for more such sessions. Thank you.